In this video, we are going to study the put call parity equations for American options using, as an example, NVIDIA stock. NVIDIA is a California-based company that produces graphics cards for gaming and has had a major run-up in its stock recently due to its hardware also being used for artificial intelligence systems. We will use an example question similar to a question out of the excellent text, Options, Futures, and Derivatives by John C. Hall. The price of an American call option on a NVIDIA stock with a strike price of $485 is $41.50. So we are using this example from E-Trade for NVIDIA Corporation. Down here we have the strike price on NVIDIA stock of $485 um, for options expiring in April of 24. The call options are here around 4150, and we will be solving for the put options over here. The current stock price is 468, and the expiration date of the option is in five months. The current risk-free rate of interest is 5%. We will assume the yield curve is flat. Drive upper and lower bounds the price of an American put option on NVIDIA stock with the same strike price and expiration date. This is the general equation for the limits on option prices for American options. The stock price minus the strike price is less than the difference between the call price and the put price, which is less than the stock price minus the present value of the strike price. So if we look at a call of 4150 with a strike price of 485, the risk-free rate is 5%. The option expires in five months, 512 is 0.42 years, and the current stock price is 468. Then we would say 468 minus 485 has to be less than 41.5 minus the price of the put, which has to be less than the stock price 468 minus the present value of the strike price 485 exponent minus the risk-free rate times the timed expiration of R.42. 468 minus 485 is minus 17 and 468, which is C13 here, minus 485, which is here, at C10, exponent minus the interest rate, 0.05, C12 times penetration, 0.42, gives us that this term here is minus 7. So we have the call minus the put, our 41.5 minus put has to be less than minus 7, but greater than minus 17. We can subtract 41.5 from each side. So minus 17 minus 41.5 gives us minus 58.5, and minus 7 minus 41.5. 5 gives us minus 48.5. We can multiply this equation by the negative sign, so we'll end up with $48.50. Has to be less than the price of the put. Has to be less than $58.50. So let's look over here, and that would be the range here of the price of the put, looking at the bid-ask spreads. So our equation does seem to be consistent with quoted prices from E-Trade. I thank you for watching this video.